Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you five ways to take a simple power chord progression and make it sound more metal. In fact, I'm gonna play the simple progression for you right now. This is where we're gonna church up. I mean, there's a time and place for just playing power chords and letting them ring out. That's great and all, but, you know, we could make this thing sound a whole lot better and, of course, sound more metal. Now, the beauty of this, before we get into the five methods I'm going to share with you here, the beauty of this, we're only playing three chords. We're in the key of B minor, so we're doing a B minor, A, G, and back to A. That's it. But the changes that we're going to make to this is going to make it sound almost like an entirely different song. So, here's what method number one sounds like to make this sound more metal. One simple little change. All we did was just add a little bit of palm muting and we didn't even palm mute the entire progression. I mean, you could do that. You could try that as well. But no, we just palm muted the first, you know, first part of each chord there before we let it ring out. And that added so much more substance. And of course, it made it sound more metal. I mean, come on, palm muting, that's the foundation, part of the foundation of heavy metal and really every subgenre of metal music. There's going to be some palm muting in there. So this is a very simple method that you can use to make your chord progressions, your power chord progressions, sound a little bit more metal. So with that, let's move on to method number two to make your progression sound more metal. Alright, so I'm actually going to give you a close up here so you can see what I'm doing kind of in slow motion here. But what we're doing is we're adding some really cool sounding single note riffs here. Yes, we're palm muting, but we're kind of moving back and forth between those two strings of the power chord there. And we're just making it sound a lot more choppy. And this really just makes it sound cool. I mean, it just really gives it that metal edge. So let me bring it in and let me just kind of just break down what I'm doing in this progression for method number two here. Now it's time for method number three on how to make your chord progression sound more metal. This is one of my all-time favorite methods of metal guitar playing. And I know a lot of you guys love this method too because you've told me so. And it's called galloping. And what galloping is, and I'll bring it in close for this as well, but it's basically just a very quick, snappy one, two, three. And that's it. If you think of it in that terms, because I know a lot of you have, have trouble playing this, a lot of you have told me this before in prior videos when we've talked about this method here. Uh, in fact, my Metal Riff Master course, we go over this method, actually all these methods, so I just want to throw that plug in real quick. There's a link in the description for that course. If you're not in yet, you need to get in. All right, so the galloping, again, just a real quick alternate picking method, but very, very quick and snappy, one, two, three. So let me bring it in a little bit closer just to kind of show you what I'm doing here on guitar. <laughs> Method number four to make your chord progression sound more metal.
there's nothing really complex going on here, but it might sound like it to the listener. All we're doing is just alternate picking, just back and forth. And this is kind of when you merge from just playing downstrokes. I don't know if you're like me. When I first started playing guitar, this is back in 1989, 1990-ish, <laughs> I just played downstrokes for almost that first year. And I remember when I finally decided to switch over to alternate picking, not switch, but to integrate alternate picking that method, I had a tough time learning it. So if you're if you're somewhat new at metal guitar, I encourage you to go ahead and learn this technique now. But all it is is just back and forth. It's just like it sounds, alternate picking. You're alternating your pick instead of just going down the entire time. So practice this. There's really no uh, secret to this. You just have to do it over and over and then you'll wake up one day and you're like, ah, I got it. And it's a really cool feeling by the way. So yeah, that's the alternate picking. Awesome metal guitar method that you can throw into your power chord progressions to make it sound more metal. All right, moving on to method number five to make your power chord progression sound more metal. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to bring this in closer to show you what I'm doing here, but the concept, and that's what I want you to grasp here, is getting away from just playing power chords and, and even going beyond all the techniques that and methods that we've learned up to this point here, uh, going beyond that and adding in some riffs, aka some, some real finger movement here, and that's what we have going on. This is the beauty uh, of playing riffs. It gets you prepared to play lead guitar. I know a lot of you have reached out to me and said, you know, I have trouble, you know, playing leads. I can play rhythms just fine, but I can't seem to transition over to playing guitar solos. Well, when you riff in your rhythms like this, like we just did, and again, I'm going to share what I did here. I'll, I'll do a close up. When you start riffing, though, this gets those fingers moving around. And really, you're playing lead guitar just at a different spot, at a lower spot on the fretboard, if you look at it that way. In fact, I have a video up here. I'll put it up here on a good way to transition from playing just rhythm to playing guitar solo. So make sure you watch that as well. So let me bring it in close, and I'll share the riffs that I'm playing here. <laughs> So a quick recap on the five methods you can use to make your power chord progression sound more metal. So number one, we just covered some very basic and simple palm muting, just that downstroke palm muting. Number two, we chopped it up a little bit with palm muting, but adding in some single note riffs, some single note chops in there. Number three, we did the galloping technique, that really snappy quick one, two, three. Number four, we continued with our alternate picking here, and well, that's what we did. We just alternate picked those chords just to make it sound more edgy. Number five, we added some riffs to our power chord progression. Now again, it's a very simple progression. Only three notes, right? B minor, A, G, and then back to A. Now you can apply these techniques, of course, to really any progression that you want. But I want you to think about all these things as you're writing your riffs. Now, real quick, I wanna plug this in. This video is sponsored, but it's sponsored by me is sponsored by my online metal guitar course called Metal Riff Master. There's a link in the description below. I know many of you watching this video are already taking that course. I've gotten a lot of awesome feedback from you guys, and thank you for that. But if you haven't started the course yet, just click that link. It'll take you to a page to tell you about the course, and you can see what all, uh, how, how it's going to help you, what all is entailed. So go ahead and check that out. And guys, let me know if you have any questions at all about this video, about any of the methods we covered. Maybe there's a method that you really like that I didn't cover in this video because I kind of went over just some, some basic tactics here to spice up your metal rhythm playing. But yeah, leave that in the comment as well. And of course, let me know if this video helped you. Guys, please give this a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, all that good stuff. 
I'll see you on the next video. Until then, keep it little.